Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to add uh, the knockback to surrounding enemies when I toggle rage mode. Uh, here is the preview. This is the improvement uh, that we did the rage mode, the uh, rage mode that we invented. So here I'll enable rage mode. and as you just saw, they all of them, all the surrounding enemies, got knocked back when I toggle them like this. So, okay, and as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. All right, so first I'm going to start with um, uh, the radial attack. So let's go to our charging or toggle rage place and this is where I spawn that particle as I have showed you in the previous video and here this is the place I should invoke the radial attack so for the normal attack I have this check hit function and so this is for a normal attack so for a radial attack I don't have that so I'll open my I haven't implemented that yet so therefore I'll open my BPI character and just like check hit I'll implement a new method and I'll call it let's call it check radial hit I'll put it under fight and here I need a couple of parameters first one would be can block mm, actually I don't need that no let's define radius attack radius and it should be in the type of float and yeah so here after check hit I'll put them here I'll implement that function I need to compile to get it check radial hit I'm gonna put this into another node right here Call it radial hit. Right. And this is the function. This is the event. So here I have to get all surrounding enemies. So here I need to get uh, the surrounding enemies, a reference to surrounding enemies. So how can I do that? Actually, I have implemented this get closest enemy function and it is like this and just like this I using a multi sphere trace I can get a set of enemies so I'll just copy this part and paste here No, actually I'll define it as another method. I'll duplicate this part and I'll call it get enemies within radius.
get enemies within radius okay so this part is same and I don't need this part I should have some error here no okay so yeah here I have to do the same let's create a local variable enemies and it should be in the type of actors these are actors right yeah let's promote this to a local variable I'll call it enemies well because of this one I can't create it so I'll rename it now enemies and this should be a array this is the array that I am going to hold these variables so I'll just delete them and here is the trace I'll just delete no I don't need to delete this one delete this one and yeah so when I do a multiple trace a multi sphere trace I get this node and I get this uh, out hits so I can drive a for each loop just like this and I can split this element uh, to reveal these pins and here I have the actor so I have implemented get distance to I can use this function from target is this one and the other actor is self so here what I'm doing is calculating distance from my character to the other character and before taking the distance first I should check if this character is an enemy just like in my other get closest function and yeah I have to check both these conditions is this uh, the other character is an enemy or and is it alive because if it is already dead I shouldn't apply the force and both of these conditions should be true so I'll paste it here and the target is this here and this here and if both of these conditions are true and also I need to check this condition as well if this distance is smaller than uh, the radius so the radius I have to define here as an input this is the radius I'm checking and it would be another and so if all of these conditions are satisfied I'm going to add uh, this array element to this enemies variable let's use add unique right and when this for each loop is complete I can implement the adder, add a return node and the return would be this enemies like this I'll name this uh, enemies uh, no 
surrounding enemies okay now I'll use that function get enemies within radius and this is the radius I want to use and for each of these enemies let's use another for each loop For each of these element let's call on weapon hit using BPI damageable and for the hit location let's give the uh, own location And I'll enable this knockback to true and the source, source actor is self that means this one uh, the character who's doing the attack and now we need to call this check radial hit event in here when I toggle enable rage that means right here check radial hit attack radius I'll give 2000 is that too much let's give 1000 for now so let's check the functionality I'll add couple more enemies so that I can preview the effect properly okay let's do attacks charge and and I'll go rage yeah. so that's I wanted I'll go check it. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do for today. And thanks for watching and if you like to support my work, uh, you can get the membership of my Patreon club and also I will upload the latest course source code to the Patreon page as well. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.